Everybody been looking at me, no glasses, and still I see it. Pass it strong and get active, no matter the storm and see, we gon' say it. Lace up these waves, hell, how about the flames should pill? Like, fuck the money and braille bump, and I bang on everybody. No gender, don't care about it. I'm fickle as hell, plus now I'm drinking here and now I be tripping. Hope nigga is gone, ashes of 2020 is back. To be too big, we got the spirit, he got my beam up. Cop, cop, loaded, so the boat that the shoulders approaching these clothes, doors like knock, knock. Then they open my dad, like, what you doing? You knew. He should have do through my life. His only son, so really, I'm trying to do them. You, but whole nigga, you welcome to get it twisted, been fast for 12 months, but I'm eating enough instrumentals, no cup. Calling my blood, but I'm stuck. Seven me up, no luck. I'm manifested it, huh? We gon' have fun. Fear, not even death, now take the reaper I own. Hope they catch it, don't care. Waiting on him that moment, I'm switching blades with a fast spin top. Your moment's over, I'm ready. Come up and wash him a kid. Detroit told you, fuck it. Nigga, my get back here hates like we live at. I'm trying to come fuck with you, but it's time. That nigga get that little baby. I'm in the mood, but I'm fading. Then that's that real black, so wait, you label the slippage. When they flip it, but do that. Pin came elevated the day that nigga was laid. I can't go back to talk to his mind block. Get engaged, man, watch it. Why? I need Timmy, she tired, got it, then pain, then my vision, she flippin', I don't recognize her face this time. Struggle no walk through and off, fuck off, been off for on me. Difference the angel, I had gone off the ground, then now, I'm about to fuck it like I'm fucked in the head, I got this over the lip, I'm still not singing my death, I got these niggas stalking, cause I'm cutting them off after a while. Get on my nutty, I'm like, nigga, I'm done, I'm tired of entertaining them, kid, a reaper the gold. If you do this one thing for me, I'm yours on my soul, fuck it. Then the days come. COVID. Shots in the vein, but the fuck is gon' in? We get to walking dead, though. I think about this dead with the big body bang to the reaper. I'm coming, this off the top of my head, nigga. It's your girl, Barbie Bell. We're here with Wide Scope Podcast Radio with your girl, Black Molly, today. And today's interview was sponsored by none other than Juice Program underscore Cali on Instagram. They got all these great products. You guys can check them out on their page. They got merch. They got the trees. They got the vape. They got everything that y'all need. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and tap into Black Molly. How are you doing today, Black Molly? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. How's everything going with yourself? Um... You know, I got a lot going on. I got a football a football game coming this Saturday, so got football practice after this interview. Oh, so that's got to be interesting. I went ahead and seen online that your video dropped this week. Mm-hmm. I see that for now. How was that process going for yourself? Uh, just promoting it for now. Uh, I've been performing it left and right, um, but like you said, the video just dropped, so I'm pushing that right now and promoting that video. So make sure y'all check that out on YouTube. Out of all the time that I have been knowing you, I never knew that you and your sister was born in Hawaii. Uh-huh. Now you gotta explain that to me because I've been knowing you out here all this time, so how was that come about? So, uh, my dad went to the military. Oh, okay, and, okay. makes yeah, sense, makes yeah. sense, okay. <laughs> Right. So, did y'all live out there? You just born out there? Did y'all move out here later? How did that go? You yeah. guys live out there? Yeah, we lived out there until I was uh, six, um, five or six, and then we moved uh, to California for the first time, and we were up in Monterey. Uh, on base there, and then finally. Oh, so y'all there. brat babies. That's y'all brat babies. Yeah. That's why I understand. Yeah. Cause I figured I said that's probably why y'all got that little Hawaiian swag to watch us up. Cause uh-huh. I I had to think about that. Like, how did that come about? Black Molly as the independent female rapper. Uh, how hard is it to be independent? Um, it's not hard. Uh, like I said, I'm not opposed to getting signed. Um, I uh, had management that you know. Um, past last year, so um, this year has been uh, just me doing everything independently and taking care of everything as far as the music and the business this time. Yeah, I read some remarks that you had written that said that 2021 started off as one of the hardest years of your career, mm-hmm. and now you're seeing uh, everything blossom and change. So right. I guess that would make sense that your management died. So. So now you're just picking up doing everything mostly on, by yourself? Exactly. Oh, okay, so I see the video. So what, how did that come about? What, what was the concept behind the video for now? Because it sounds like saying, like, I like you, but I'm just fucking with you for right now. Right. Uh, so it's, it was just a story um, about, um, I, I don't want to say a relationship, but a situation ship. Okay, you know, situation Like a low-distance situation. And um, um, if you... 
watch the video, it's like, um, there's some tarot reading in there, so it's like, the women following her intuition, and, you know, uh, there's a couple of things going on in the video that, okay, you know. Okay, so y'all know what y'all want to do, y'all have to go check out the video so right. I can understand the concept. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that women intuitions get us into good and bad. Exactly. So we gonna hope exactly. that, that that works out for the best. So I also see that you're doing a little reality TV behind the women's uh, football team that you're playing for. I see uh -huh. it's, uh, it's uh, tell us a little about that. It's the California Crush uh, Women's Capital football, football Team. team. Right. So how did that come about? How did you, I mean, you look like where you would be like the cheerleader on the team. Right. So how do you go from being like the cheerleader so now you're the wide receiver for the women's tackle football team. Right. Um, so I um, actually was asked to join the football team in high school. You know, um, I was very athletic in high school and I declined. I did not want to be a part of the football team. I felt like, you know, that was the first that I had ever heard of a female football team anyway. So um, to then once the offer came around, you know, recently, I was like, you know, I wonder if, you know, that's a sign. Let me go ahead and try, try to relive it. Yeah, relive it. Relive it. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. It's been going good. You know what I'm saying? We get ready so, so what's the first game? This Saturday? This Saturday. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, where's it going to be at this Saturday? At uh, Emerald Cove Park in uh, Bakersfield. Okay. All right. So y'all know y'all need to go down there and support women's sports. Right. Do you think women's sports is just as hard as women, uh, women in uh, rap? Is it kind of a similar circumstance? Do you think it's a... Uh, Kind of, this is hard for women in sports as it is for music. Um, I think probably the recognition is probably as hard, but it's you know it's it's, it's a sporty everything the, from the hip hop game to the you know football team and stuff like that. It's um, it's a sport and a competition, so it's pretty much you know you you prepare for for both in either a situation. You know it's it's like um, it's, we're there. You know, but it's just the attention is on other uh, people and things. Yeah. yeah, I've been kind of realizing that, like, you know, it's always a sex play in things. Uh -huh. So it's kind of hard for women to kind of really advance in anything that they're doing because it's always men to the forefront, probably with the sex play or thing, they want to hold the resources to everything. So right. I can understand that. All right, so this Saturday you got your game, and I uh -huh. see you guys got that going on. So what other events you got coming up? Uh, December 15th, we have a fashion show slash concert. Okay. Uh, that's going to be at the Person Center. Um, I believe it starts around 5.30. Um, it's going to be a red carpet event. We're going to have, like I said, a fashion show. That's what Raw Entertainment, right? Raw Entertainment. Raw Entertainment. Uh -huh. yeah, Raw Entertainment. Right. And shout out to them. They're going to have a red carpet event. They invited us out. We're going to go ahead and come out to it and uh -huh. check it out that's and see great. it out. You're going to perform there too? Yes, I am. You walking in there too? Yes, I am. All right. <laughs> You got that coming up. You got the game on Saturday. You got the fashion show on the 15th. Mm -hmm. You just dropped your video. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we make it. Black Molly want to be a rapper. Um, well, I was actually in a family of rappers. My uh, stepfather, my late stepfather, uh, was DJ True from the Hip Hop Clan mm -hmm. and uh, Project Vote. You know, yeah. and so um, Rifleman is my uncle, you know, uh, Pterodactyl, those are my cousins. So, yeah, I grew up in a, a family and a household of battle rappers and underground uh, hip hop artists, and it just naturally came. Yeah, it explains a lot, and it explains a lot. Because, uh, you know, I know I know the black Molly with the chucks and the, and the, uh, and the, and the khaki suit <laughs> and the jeans. Right. And so I see that you kind of shifted into more of. Uh, a, more of a woman uh -huh. artist. Exactly. Uh, how do you find the balance? Um, it's not okay, okay. So, like you said, you knew me or you remember me from wearing the chucks and the hats and all that. So, you know, that's still there. I, I understand. Like, I used to be totally against. Because we know sex sales and everybody right. push female artists to be more sexual. And uh -huh. so, how do you find your balance? It's just, you know, stand true to who I am. You know, I, I understand that I can be sexy and I don't have to do it too much, you know, and yeah. Because I've seen you popping and it's working it a little bit. I don't practice. So at what moment did, did you say, okay, I got this family of rappers, I'm going to start rapping? Because I know I know a little bit of the story on how you started, so mm -hmm. I want everyone else to know, like, so well, how did you get to the point that I'm going to be a rapper, I'm going to start doing this? So um, they used to have these, uh, like, battle rap sessions in my living room that they would not allow me to join. It was only boys. And I, so I had, club. Right. <laughs> 
and then I had younger cousins that were boys who they would allow to come in. And so, you know, it got to the point where I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it on my own. And so I actually was the first one out of the out of the younger kids to come out and do it professionally or a start because now they're everybody you know that started or whatever they had their own careers. But yeah. So when did you realize you had the talent for? Um, the my first show was a competition, a battle, and they put me up against the winner. The, the, the champ for some reason. I don't know, I thought I was supposed to start at the bottom, but they put me up against the champ and uh, it was damn near, you know, like head to head, 50-50, you know what I'm saying? And so yeah, when, when I realized who she was and that I came that close to, you know, winning the competition, it was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> so tell them about the voicemail back Molly. Okay, so I, you remember her at the voicemails and you uh, leave your song or you leave whatever you message you want to leave on there. So I put my rap verses on my answer machine. And then it started uh, like this voicemail type of battle where people would call my phone and then they would leave their verses like, you know, this and me and then I would change the voicemail to get back at them and this went on for a while and yeah. That was like when I was That was before the I had right. Instagram. Exactly. That was right. before the Instagram where if you went into Battle Black Body, you would leave her on Yeah. Leave your, leave your verse at the beat. Exactly. So, so yeah, that's that. That's what to me to show me like you had a lot of uh, determination to, to, to be unique and be different. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people would say, like, hey, when you call me, you're gonna hear my you gonna hear me spit on right. my voicemail. Right. I think even to this day, I don't think nobody's doing that in even 2021. Mm -hmm. you know? So mm -hmm. good idea if y'all jockey. <laughs> right. Y'all got it from first. Mm -hmm. So now, so when you said started being professional, I know you had your first show and you said you was going to be professional. When you say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get management. Uh -huh. Did you have management first coming in? Um, I actually did. Uh, it was, um, you know, people close around me that all were involved. I had my parents and, you know, my manager was, uh, was always around. So, yeah. Um, and I actually came out, I think that battle was uh, 2009. Okay. So 2009 was my first uh, performance and, you know, taking it there and I believe I um, started doing mixtapes in 2010, you know, so. What was yeah. the first one you was able to put Black Molly into the search engine and see if a song come up? Um, I think, I, I want to say as soon as I started releasing music because I've always been or attempted to be ahead of the game and make sure that I have my paperwork and everything in order. So I want to say as soon as I dropped my first uh, song, yeah. And had that feel. Uh, you know, it felt amazing, of course. Uh, going and performing the song and then people who used to do like small, not small parties, but like these private parties and like underground parties or whatever and everybody loved the songs that I would be performing and stuff like that. So it was dope. Really so who's your inspirational rapper? Who, who, who's the female artist that you would say if that's the success I want or the image I want, that's who I want to be? Um, as far as having both the rugged, I mean now everybody is, you know, I guess they talk the, the, the lingo or whatever, but like originally it was like the brat, you know, um, Queen Latifah, like the yeah, I just said yeah, 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 that sexy, but I still, still put my foot on exactly. your <laughs> yeah, I get that, I get that. So now, what's next for Black Molly? So we're just gonna wrap this year up. Um, like I said, keep pushing the video, keep pushing the single, and then I am working on my first uh, EP, and that I will be releasing in uh, twenty twenty. All right, so then that's Black Molly, y'all. She can leave y'all. Y'all can go ahead and hit her up on Black Molly on Instagram. Y'all go ahead and check out her video for now. Y'all go ahead and catch out the clip after the video. Thank and that's the uh, B L A Q K M O L O Y. I want to go ahead and thank you for coming out for this interview. I really appreciate you. Why I still appreciate you for coming out. We want to go ahead and thank Just Pounding AVMC for hosting our interview. And we want to go ahead and thank Juice Program underscore Cali for sponsoring all these great products and sponsoring Wide Scope Podcast Radio. Go ahead and subscribe to the page and check out Black Monty's new video for now.
fade my spirit, God bet on me Like white on rocks, my left ear ring And I can spell the bullshit like Catch your phone, no, you should've hit my nail Crystal zone, leaving from my spot downtown Not gon' trip, this life, I'm gon' live Mirror, mirror told me, I'm that bitch Brand new whip to cry, get my doc to lit Bitch, I wish I would drop a tip on this But I'm here For now